Okay, good morning, everybody. Okay, that was way too obnoxious for how early it is in the morning. <sighs> but I'm out yard sailing this morning. I am, I'm so excited to take you guys along. With gas prices being like so expensive this year, I have been way more careful where I go yard sailing. I don't wanna go far, cause it's not worth it then, right? But this community yard sale is so close by and it's like a ton of houses. And so, ooh, I feel it in my bones. It's gonna be a good day. And these people look rich, so. Hopefully it's gonna be a good day. I'll take you guys along on the fun, show you what I find. Hopefully it's not a bust. If you're new here, my name is Raquel. I do homemaking videos, motherhood, lots of vlogs. So yeah, follow along and let's get started. You know those yard sales that are so sad and you immediately, you enter and you immediately know there's not gonna be one single thing that you want, but you linger just to be polite because it feels so rude just to like walk out instantly, but it's so awkward. And then I just wait until somebody else comes and then I like slip out of there. Life hack, have a stroller to carry all your loot or a basket or a um, wagon, but mostly I don't have a wagon right now, so the stroller. So I always have hot dogs when I go yard sailing, but today I got a spring roll made by somebody that was making them on the spot. She was from the Philippines. They're so good. Okay, okay, I'm back now. Do you wanna see what I got? Of course you do. So some of this stuff I got at the yard sale today. Others I got, uh, full disclaimer, I got at a thrift store a while back, but I've been just saving it for this video. And yeah, let me show you my loot. Got this table for five bucks. It comes with four chairs and it has a few scuffs on it, but I was so tickled. Now I have to store it for a little bit before she gets to use it, but I have plenty of storing room and I'm just tickled, five bucks. This is gonna be so perfect for like, oh my goodness, anything, crafts, coloring, a little um, school projects, whatever it is. I'm just so tickled, such a steal. Ugh. I did. Don't fall. Okay, let's start. I got this plate. I think this plate is so pretty. It's just like a perfect like serving dish. I feel like summer, my daughter makes out the best today because I have some darling things for her that I was just gonna save for future birthdays. And it's just so much fun shopping for a kid. This here. I mean, I wasn't about to leave this behind. I found this at a little antique store in Ohio. Antique slash thrift store, I'm not sure what you call it. Anyways, a little wicker basket, and it's full of darling tea stuff, like little cups and plates. There's like six or seven of these little things playing outside in the dirt, or even just like little picnics. There's like cookie trays, I mean muffin trays, all kinds of like cookware in here. And it is just so perfect playing outside in her dollhouse, whatever it is in the future. I was just like, this is darling, this is vintage. This is coming home with me. Skincare product is definitely not something that I've ever really, like, really looked for at a thrift store before, but are you kidding? This stuff is $155 brand new. I think so, I looked it up. Pretty sure that's what it was. This set from Airbon is like night repair cream. And it's basically full, except this little bottle is empty. I was like, you gotta be kidding. It was a dollar, a dollar. I'm not leaving this there. Anyway, I can't believe it. Like y'all, Holmes County, y'all must have too much money if you're leaving this stuff behind. But it's better for me, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, and also some Airbon once again. Someone, someone must not like this company because it's like firming body cream, a dollar. And I'm already using it, and I like it. Anywho, and I got baskets. So many baskets at a yard sale. These are so pretty, I think. And you know what? I use baskets for giving gifts all the time over like a gift bag and a dollar. Are you kidding? These are so pretty. I have like so many of them. I have already a lot of baskets, but I'm constantly using them for organization, storage. Like, look at this big sucker. This thing is like big and it still has a tag on it and it was a dollar. And this would be probably be like $15 or like 12-ish, $15 at like Ross or TJ Maxx. And it's beautiful and it's like perfectly brand new. I could believe it. And I also got these little tiny, I, as you can tell, I love me some, like I love little vintage things, but I just think they're so pretty. Like, I don't know. They're just so cute. Anyway, I got a couple of these. One of the things I absolutely love is this Anna Green Gables pop-up dollhouse. It looks like a book. I had this as a kid and I was like, you're kidding. This is so much nostalgia and like, oh, so many memories playing with this thing. So it's the Anna Green Gables house. If you've read this book, you know, you know how much I love this book. I named my daughter Avonlea for crying out loud. Like love this author. Anyways, and it comes with like little paper dolls. Not paper dolls, like little, yeah, I guess you call them paper dolls. Um, Anna Green Gables herself right there. And Marilla and Matthew and everybody, the, all the characters. 
this book is such a good gift idea for someone that loves like some one of your girls that's just now getting into those books this is such a dear dear book anyway or it's not really a book it's a dollhouse so yeah you just tie the back together and it is just so cute it's so many details oh i was just so tickled with this yeah, I have spent hours playing with this as a kid. And along the same lines, another buy is this Little House Paper Dolls. Did you guys have this growing up? Brand new, so I'm not even gonna open it. This is a perfect birthday gift for her. I might have so many things to give her when she grows up, but like I love having a kid because I get to redo my childhood over again. It is so much fun. I never knew that how much fun it was gonna be. You can find these on eBay too. I've seen them on eBay at least, but yeah, I was so tickled with this. So once again, I had this as a kid. Absolutely love this. I wish, it, I wish I could open it up and show you, but it's basically, it shows the, the Laura Ingalls house. Then it has all kinds of paper dolls and dresses and clothes. It's so fun. It's such a like wholesome, cause that word is so overused, but like it's a wholesome gift idea. And I loved the idea of Summer having like quality things to play with and not just a bunch of plastic stuff. Um, but speaking of plastic, I also got these dolls. Y'all, I was not about to leave these behind. Perfectly good dolls. One, two, three. I'm not keeping these, but wait. Actually, I might keep one, but they're like the mo- like they, They're supposed to look like American Girl dolls, but they're like not. Perfect condition. Like. I don't know if they've ever been played with. They're so pretty. And it was funny is that they're all like medical. Like I would have had so much fun, fun with this as a kid because this one has a stethoscope. They're all like nurses and, or they have like patients too. So there's a, it came with a wheelchair. It came with crutches. It came with this medical cart thing full of little things for when you're sick. There's like a little water bottle. I would have absolutely, I love, I played with, um, I pretended I was a nurse. Every time I played growing up, like make believe I was always a doctor or a nurse. And this would have made me so tickled. Um, but yeah, it just comes with so many neat little things. I thought that was like so special. I was like, not gonna leave that behind. Um, even like a cast and a horse and randomly, like this person's like riding a horse. I'm not sure why because everything else is like medical, but she must just threw it all together because it, it all came in like a package. And I was so tickled. I was like, this is the perfect gift idea for someone that like broke a leg. So I'm gonna keep in mind if there's like a little girl that broke a leg or something, I'm gonna give her this doll. Like I think it's just like perfect. So I might not even keep any of these. I'm not sure, maybe I'll keep one for summer, but I feel like she'll probably have enough things when she's, by the time she's like this age. I'm gonna interrupt this video real quick to talk about today's sponsor. If you don't feel like watching this part, just skip ahead about a minute. So I wanna thank today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. I'm so grateful for their support of my channel. If you're not familiar with Skillshare, Skillshare is an online learning community for creators. So if there's a specific skill you're trying to learn, Skillshare has thousands of inspiring classes online that you can watch or listen to. I personally love to listen to Skillshare um, when I'm on a walk, or prepping dinner. There are no ads, which is really nice because you can kind of like zone in more to the classes. They have classes on music, um, blogging, entrepreneurship, business, film, video, cooking. I am personally loving a class on how to take professional photos with your iPhone, which I think is so interesting. I've learned so much already. So if you want to try out Skillshare, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in my description will get access to Skillshare for one month for free. Thank you, Skillshare, again for sponsoring today's video. I also got this Time magazine from when Princess Diana was killed. I'm, I'm kind of an I'm kind of an oldie like that. Like I love um, history and keeping things like that. I also got these shoes that I'm already been wearing so much. I've been looking for like a summer sandal. Do you guys buy your shoes used? I know some people are kind of weirded out by other people's feet, but I don't know, a dollar or so for my summer shoes? Yes, please. And I also got a pile of Curious George books. I don't think I have any Curious George. Maybe I have one, but this is just like a pile of them. Um, she had like so many Curious George books there. I was pretty tickled with that. I love books. Is there anything else? Did I talk about this stuff? Monet? Yes, a dollar. Brand new bottle of Monet stuff. I can't even talk. Monet Supplement Support System for Natural Hair Growth, which I desperately need. A dollar at a thrift store. I've never, for sure, never bought supplements at a thrift store, but a dollar, no, I'm sorry, a dollar fifty. You guys, 
that is such a good deal. I think this is like, I looked it up, it's like 50 bucks for this bottle, brand new bottle. I got it for $1.50. That is so cool and I can't wait to try it because your girl needs some hair. Oh, did I mention the dolls came with glasses? Yeah, came with some glasses too. Anyway, I think that's everything for right now. I'm feeling pretty tickled with what I, with what I got. I think that's it for this video. Thank you for joining me and if you wanna see more of this kind of video, comment down below and let me know. Bye.